Hi guys, I'm Suprabha. We know the types of matrices. Those are rectangular, zero or null and square matrix. The square matrix is subdivided as diagonal, scalar, identity or unit and triangular matrix. In this video, we'll see three more types of square matrices that are idempotent, involutory and nilpotent matrix. Let us understand each one in detail. Any square matrix A is called as idempotent matrix if a square is equal to A. That is, when any matrix is multiplied to itself, the resultant matrix will be the same matrix. So, let us determine the possible idempotent diagonal matrices for ordered two matrix. Let us consider this matrix when it is multiplied to itself, the result is a11 square 0 0 a22 square but the definition says that when the matrix is multiplied to itself the result should be the same matrix to make this statement equal to true we need a11 square equal to a11 and a22 square is equal to a22 so this will be only satisfied when the values of a11 will be either 0 or 1 and A22 will be either 0 or 1. So, we can conclude that the four possible combinations can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. That is, the elements A11, A22 both can be 0, either of them can be 0 or both can be 1. So, there are four possible con combinations that gives 2 raised to 2. So, we can see that for 2 into 2 matrix, the possible combinations are 2 raised to 2. So, we can generalize this statement that for n order matrix, the number of possible idempotent diagonal matrices are 2 raised to n. Example of idempotent matrix, 2 into 2 matrix will simply consider the combination of A11 and A22 as 1, 1. So, we will get 2 into 2 matrix and this is one generalized example of 3 into 3 matrix. If you multiply this matrix by itself, the result will be same matrix. The next matrix involutory matrix. Any square matrix A is called as involutory matrix when A square is equal to I. That matrix is multiplied to itself, result should be I that is identity or unit matrix. Let us consider one example. A is equal to 4, minus 1, 15, minus 4. As the definition says, when it is multiplied to itself, the result should be identity matrix. So, go for matrix multiplication, we get 4 into 4, 16, minus 15, 4 into minus 1, minus 4, plus 4, 15, 4 is 60, minus minus 4 into 15 60 15 into minus 1 minus 15 and plus 16 so the result is 1 0 0 1 so this is nothing but identity matrix the last one nilpotent matrix any square matrix a is called as nilpotent matrix when a raised to m is equal to 0 that is here m is simply any smallest positive integer or it is also called as index of nilpotent matrix. Now, if a raised to 4 is equal to 0, the question is a raised to 4 is equal to 0. So, we can conclude that a cube and a raised to 2 are not null matrices that is their value is non-zero. The further matrices that is for the index value greater than 4 a raised to 5, we can write a into a raised to 4. a raised to 4 is 0. So, the value of a raised to 5 is 0. Also, we can write a raised to 6, again a into a raised to 5. a raised to 5 is 0, again the value is 0 that is null matrix. Consider one more example, if a is equal to this matrix, and a square is equal to 0. That is, the smallest positive integer m is 2. 
that makes the A equal to nilpotent matrix or results into null matrix. Now this is an important sentence to be noted that any strictly upper or lower triangular matrix are nilpotent matrix. Consider the example A is equal to strictly upper triangular matrix. Why upper strictly because the diagonal elements are equal to 0, upper because only the upper elements are present. Now we know that strictly upper triangular matrix are nilpotent matrix. We know that A is a nilpotent matrix. We are supposed to find out the value of M that is the smallest positive integer that makes A equal to null matrix. So we will go for A square that is multiply this matrix to itself. Go for ma matrix multiplication. The result obtained is so this clearly indicates that this matrix is not null matrix because the element 4 is present here. Now the m is not equal to 2. Let us go for next that is a cube. Multiply a into a square the value of A A square we have already found out now if you again go for matrix multiplication the result of the matrix will be null matrix so if you observe for strictly upper triangular matrix if the order is mat if the order of matrix is 3 into 3 the value of smallest positive integer is a cube that is a cube is equal to 0 that is nothing but null matrix so we can conclude that for n order strictly upper or lower triangular matrices the smallest positive integer will be equal to n that is a raised to n will be equal to 0. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Hope the concept is clear. For any doubts and suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. For more details, you can refer these videos. Guys, help us to help you. So please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.